already discussing uh, in the Para Badminton Commission of uh, BWF how to go on. We must adapt a little bit our regulations. Here we have altogether 22 events with uh, more than 200 players. Sure, in Tokyo we will not have 200 para badminton players. That means we could play events with less participation, but it doesn't make sense to have a double event with only two pairs. Therefore, we have to decide to change the format a little bit. We try to discuss what is happening every year in our community. We have workshops at, at every World Championships and on lower level we try with smaller groups uh, the year between the World Championships uh, at the Continentals to have these discussions, to uh, have regulations that are up to date and we are, that period of uh, experiment will end uh, this year and we are still on the way to write all down in the new regulations. And the next big change will be then when we will start the qualification period for the Paralympics. Classification is due to a medical examination and a technical assessment during the game. Classification is finished by observation, so that's saying why people who are interested to become a classifier need to be a physiotherapist or a medical doctor so that they can do the medical examination and they need to have a badminton background so that they know the skills and the movements on court that they can judge the technical assessment as well. Badminton is a fun sport because you can find new friends and uh, it's fun to see when you are starting to learn how to play it and it is uh, good for your health and your body balance. I, uh, I love badminton because there are some respect between players and some uh, pleasure when we play against. It's a, a beautiful event for all the people present and uh, that's perfect. Fun, exciting, and the atmosphere around people is very good. <laughs> the three words that I would use to describe para badminton would be exciting, because the matches are just as entertaining as able-bodied matches, if not more. Because watching these people with different disabilities adapt and being able to move around court and the various ways in which they hit the shuttle, it is different but interesting. We are like a big family here. Um, we all support each other, we look after each other. Um, yeah, it's a very warm place here. So we are trying to develop the Norwegian team by having a regional on camps and uh, for me to go all, all around uh, Norway and uh, to uh, try and uh, recruit uh, some new players and also we are trying to get our clubs to uh, send in uh, names uh, etc for to the federation so that we can make some good uh, things for them. The most important thing for us at the moment is the development of para badminton on the overall mm -hmm. aspect because with uh, especially with the badminton becoming Paralympic mm -hmm. sport it gave a huge boost to the Paraman Intern in France. I can see now, I was in Dortmund two years ago and by being in Murcia last year for European Badminton Championships and this year in, uh, in England, you can see that a lot of players have uh, improved their quantity of practice, the quality of training, the coaches are becoming more uh, experienced in para Badminton, so we are improving, increasing, we just need to pay attention, not to take a too big gap with the Asian players, because I think with the Paralympics it will come strong. Like in uh, badminton, we need to work together, all the European countries, to, to be able to beat Asian. <laughs>